I'll clean up a little spot and push the hot rod forward and get the nose of the Honda in here. Drain the fluid out of it. <clears throat> swap that uh, thermostat and then uh, antifreeze it back up. It should be good to go. Okay, Eric the car guy, he's a, he's a pretty cool dude. He knows his way around the car a lot more than I do. He suggested I bleed the system, and he shows a uh, thing that he bought that fits on the radiator, and you put some fluid in there, and it allows the uh, radiator to bubble air out, sort of like that's doing right now. You see that? Without losing the uh, fluid. Well, I didn't have one of those doohickeys, so I made one out of an old can. I found one that fits firmly right down on the top of the radiator there. I have a piece of wood wedged in the water so that I can keep this thing idling at about 2,000 RPM. It's actually a little bit above that, but not too much. And uh, we basically said to run it like that till the fan kicks on. So that's what I'm doing. I'll let you know how this turns out. Okay, I got this baby running. Uh, there was another problem I noticed, though, so this, uh, this overflow was connected to a lid and it was broken. Uh, the little place where it would suck the water back in there was broken. Now there's my fan running right now, so that's a good sign. So I'm thinking it was throwing water into the overflow and not pulling it back out. That could have been a problem too, obviously. Alrighty, I put that new thermostat in Trish's car and uh, I'm driving it now. I can feel there's heat coming out of the heater. The motor's not overheating. It's temperature's right where it should be. I, uh, uh, burped the cooling system, got a new uh, thermostat in there, and I've replaced the line that goes to the overflow tank. So far it's working flawlessly, it's never got any hotter than that. Running good, feels good.